Hi folks, I am Venkatesh, one of the maintainers of Hyperswitch. In this video, let's see the abstract view of Hyperswitch backend. This really helps you in understanding the fundamentals of Hyperswitch and how it works. major components in our Hyperswitch backend architecture. One is application layer and another is storage layer. We call application layer as router. Why we call it router? Because that is the one which is responsible for routing all the traffic to the connectors, external agents. So this application layer, if we dive deep one layer below, we can see core API component, connector layer component and asynchronous layer. So this core API is the one which is responsible for authenticating all the incoming requests, selecting the best connector and uh, uh, routing the traffic to the connectors. And this connector layer is a uh, stateless. So it just talks to the connector, it understands the connector's language and uh, core API just transfer all the requests to the connector layer and connector layer is responsible for talking to the external parties. So all the external parties like uh, signified or uh, stripe any external parties whatever we are talking is called connectors and asynchronous layer is the one which is responsible for talking to the connector to understand what is the status in an asynchronous manner now let's dive deep into the storage layer persistence with consistency is important in all transactional applications like hyper switch However, storage layer should not be a bottleneck for any high performing applications. So we have three different uh, components to manage high performance. Persistent layer which is responsible for storing all the data in a persistent manner and the cache layer has been introduced. This is gonna de-bottleneck the application during the high performance. So all the transaction data goes to the cache layer and then gets drained using this drainer and gets drained into the persistent layer. This is the abstract view of how Hyperswitch backend works. If you want to dwell deep into this, please visit the documentation and join the community. Thank you.